Picture this, it's the late 70 seconds, and television screens were about to be graced by something that would become a timeless treasure. As you sat down, perhaps on a cozy couch or sprawled across the floor, the screen flickered to life, and there it was, the facts of life. Your very first encounter with this TV series was like stepping into a whole new world. A world where boarding school adventures, life lessons, and heartfelt friendships unfolded before your eyes. Do you remember the anticipation as the theme music kicked in, setting the tone for yet another episode filled with laughter, tears, and also oh relatable moments? Whether it was Tootie's exuberance, Blair's sass, Joss' rebellious spirit, Nate Ali's wit, or Mrs. Garrett's nurturing wisdom, each character carved a place in your heart. And what about those memorable scenes that etched themselves into your memory? Maybe it was that hilarious mishap during a school project, or the heart-to-heart -heart talks under the stars that left you feeling like you were a part of their close-knit circle. But enough reminiscing, let's dive into some intriguing tidbits about the show that might have slipped past your radar. Did you know that the show was a spin-off of Different Strokes? And that it wasn't all about laughter, tackling serious topics like peer pressure, self-discovery, and social issues was also its forte. So, buckle up as we journey through these lesser-known facts about the facts of life, providing you with a fresh perspective on a series that has held a special place in so many hearts. Get ready to unearth some hidden gems and rediscover the charm that made this show an unforgettable part of television history. The Facts of Life, a 1979 TV series, emerged as a spin-off from Different Strokes. Set at Eastland School, a girls' boarding school, the show navigated the lives of a diverse group of students and their house mother, Mrs. Garrett. The iconic characters included Blair, a privileged student, Joe, a tough girl from the Bronx, Natalie, a witty and lovable girl, and Tootie, a lively, roller-skating enthusiast. The series uniquely balanced comedy with serious themes, addressing social issues such as friendship, peer pressure, and personal growth. The show's origins trace back to Charlotte Ray's character, Mrs. Garrett, initially the Drummond's housekeeper on different strokes. The success of the character prompted the spin-off, which explored her life at Eastland School. The distinctive personalities of the main characters, combined with relatable adolescent challenges, resonated with audiences. As the show progressed, it evolved beyond its sitcom roots, delving into heartfelt conversations and lessons, making it stand out in the landscape of 1980s television. The facts of life left a significant impact on popular culture. It provided a platform to discuss relevant topics and offered young viewers relatable role models. The characters' growth over the series' run inspired discussions on real-life issues. The show's memorable theme song and catchphrases, like you take the good you take the bad, became part of the cultural lexicon. Random facts about the show, George Clooney played a handyman in the later seasons. Lisa Welchel, who portrayed Blair, turned down a role on the Mickey Mouse Club for the facts of life. The show addressed subjects like divorce, peer pressure, and even the first aid storyline on a primetime sitcom. In essence, the facts of life transcended its sitcom origins, becoming a vessel for discussions on relevant issues while entertaining audiences with its enduring characters and unique style. Nancy McKeon's resilient journey to the facts of life spotlight in the sprawling landscape of 1979 television, where coming-of-age narratives were gradually carving their niche, one show shone a spotlight on the intricate web of teenage growth and friendship. The Facts of Life, a series that unveiled the nuanced struggles of young women at Eastland School, quickly garnered attention. Central to this acclaim was Nancy McKeon, who, in the show's second season, injected both toughness and vulnerability into her role as Joe. It was no happenstance that McKeon breathed life into Joe. Network luminary Fred Silverman, known for his sharp eye, spotted McKeon's remarkable talent during a 1978 Hallmark commercial. In a fleeting moment of vulnerability, as she shed tears, Silverman saw what few could. McKeon's ability to authentically emote, to convey toughness and sensitivity in unison, marked her as the ideal candidate for Joss' character. Her journey from commercials to a pivotal role in the facts of life was a testament to her prowess. The show, set at Eastland School, brought together a diverse cast, each hailing from different quarters of the nation. 
This geographical tapestry added a layer of authenticity to the characters. Mrs. Garrett and Beverly Ann emerged from Appleton, Wisconsin. Blair and Natalie epitomized Manhattan's elite. Joe embodied the spirit of the Bronx, while Tootie carried the essence of Washington, D.C. This mosaic of origins wove seamlessly into the storyline, infusing it with relatability. Interestingly, the facts of life also found itself intertwined with the success of another sitcom, Different Strokes, riding high on the waves of this newfound triumph. NBC sought to expand its reach with a spin-off. Fred Silverman's conviction that Charlotte Ray, the beloved Mrs. Garrett, could carry her series proved instrumental. Mrs. Garrett's departure from different strokes was navigated strategically, ensuring both shows thrived independently. Silverman's foresight underscored the calculated risks that underpinned television programming decisions. As time marches on, the facts of life remains a testament to the vigor of 1,979 seconds television landscape. Nancy McKeon's journey from a Hallmark commercial to the heart of a beloved show encapsulates the era's creative energy and the industry's perceptive vision. The intertwining tales of these characters, shaped by their geographic origins and the strategic network moves, continue to echo through the annals of television history. In a twist of fate that echoes the show's own themes of friendship and connection, the beloved character Natalie Green from the 1979 TV series The Facts of Life was not just a product of creative imagination. The character, brought to life by actress Mindy Cohn, was actually named after a childhood friend of Charlotte Ray, who portrayed Mrs. Edna Garrett on the show. This personal touch added an extra layer of authenticity to the character's relatable quirks and endearing presence. Interestingly, the show underwent a significant shift after its first season, redefining its narrative focus and character dynamics. Initially centered around a diverse group of young girls residing in a boarding house, the series took a bold turn at the beginning of its second season. The plot evolved from lighthearted comic situations to delve into more serious adult issues. This strategic move was intended to boost ratings and resonate with a broader audience. The cast was streamlined to four main characters, including the addition of the new character Joe, played by Nancy McKeon. The ties that bind the world of acting can be unexpectedly strong, as seen through the connection between Charlotte Ray and Chorus Leachman. Following Ray's departure from the show in its seventh season, she recommended Chorus Leachman as her replacement. The two actresses had a shared history that dated back to their time as classmates at Northwestern University and even as struggling roommates in the competitive landscape of New York City. This casting recommendation further underscored the show's theme of relationships and support among women. The facts of life not only entertained viewers with its humor and relatable characters, but also left an indelible mark as it navigated the intricacies of friendship, growth, and the ever-changing landscape of life itself. George Clooney's departure from the facts of life, a star's abrupt exit in the annals of television history, cast shakeups are hardly a rarity. But in 1979, when the facts of life bid adieu to George Clooney, it marked a jarring departure that left viewers intrigued and puzzled. Clooney, now a Hollywood heavyweight, was let go from the show in its eighth season following the pivotal episode A Star is Torn. Clooney, who portrayed Handeman George Burnett, had endeared himself to audiences with his charm and on-screen presence. However, behind the scenes, tensions brewed. Reports suggest creative differences and contractual complexities as contributing factors to the separation. The eighth season storyline took a dramatic turn with the A Star is Torn episode and this narrative shift coincided with Clooney's exit. The departure stirred discussions on set dynamics and the show's future trajectory. Clooney's void was palpable, but the series pressed forward, adapting to the alteration with resilience. While the exact details of Clooney's exit might have remained veiled, the impact on the facts of life and its legacy is an undeniable chapter in television lore. With George Clooney's departure, the facts of life navigated uncharted waters. The decision, shrouded in mystery, underscores the intricate workings of television production and the delicate balance of personalities that shape a series. As the show continued, new avenues opened, contributing to its enduring imprint on the cultural landscape. In the world of entertainment, farewells are commonplace, but George Clooney's exit from the facts of life remains a poignant moment, an enigma that adds yet another layer to the show's rich history. 
Joss exclusion from different strokes crossovers. A untold tale of the facts of life in the realm of 1979 television. The facts of life emerged as a beloved series, captivating audiences with its relatable characters and witty narratives. Nestled within its intriguing storyline lies an interesting tidbit. Joe Polniacek, portrayed by Nancy McKeon, was the sole member of the Eastland schoolgirls who never ventured into the world of crossover appearances. On the parent show, Different Strokes, as the show's narrative web expanded, characters occasionally wove in and out of each other's lives, a common trope in interconnected TV universes. However, Joe Polniacek remained an exception, her path never intersecting with that of Arnold Jackson or the Drummond family in the parent show. While Blair, Natalie, and Tootie each found themselves in the orbit of the Different Strokes cast at some juncture, Joss' trajectory remained distinctly autonomous. This divergence lent Joss' character a sense of individuality, further underscoring her uniqueness within the canvas of the facts of life. In the absence of crossovers, Joss' journey unfolded solely within the context of her Eastland experiences, offering viewers a focused exploration of her growth, friendships, and challenges. It's a choice that set Joe apart in both narrative and television history. The decision to keep her aloof from the different strokes crossovers remains a subtle yet fascinating element in the rich tapestry of the facts of life. It spotlighted her journey's distinct nature, drawing attention to the producer's intent to carve out a distinctive identity for each character, even within the interconnected universe of these iconic shows. So, while the corridors of Eastland School echoed with laughter, camaraderie, and life lessons, Joe Polniacek stood apart, her world untouched by the familiar faces of different strokes. An enigmatic choice that added yet another layer of intrigue to the unforgettable legacy of the facts of life. As we bid adieu, remember that the facts of life isn't just a TV show, it's a portal to our past, a capsule of moments that have intertwined with our own life stories. Those school corridors and dorm room chats might be fictional, but the resonance they find within us is strikingly real. So, as we part ways, I invite you to delve into your own memory vault, dust off those recollections, and relive those nostalgic giggles. What did the series awaken in you? Did it spark friendships that stood the test of time? Did it kindle dreams of camaraderie and adventure? Or perhaps it offered a refuge during moments of uncertainty, a reliable source of laughter that pulled you through. Whatever it might be, those connections are a part of your journey, a tapestry woven with the threads of entertainment and emotion. In sharing your cherished memories and thoughts about the facts of life, you're not just reminiscing. You're adding your own verse to the ode that countless fans are singing. Your experiences enrich the narrative, making it even more dynamic and beautiful. So don't hesitate to let your voice join the chorus as we celebrate the impact of this timeless show. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with me. Your time and interest are truly appreciated as they've allowed us to explore the tender connections between fiction and reality past and present. Until we cross paths again, keep those memories alive and keep embracing the facts of your life.